Hey good people, Minardo Rob here, and this week's video for Monday Digs is going to be one of the most exceptional metal detecting hunts I ever got the privilege to be a part of. Unfortunately, it's not me that has the spectacular day. It is Mr. Troy and Mr. Dalton, uh, Florida Knox and Dirt Troll and Troy. They have epic days, both of them. If I had to rate it on an alphabet letter rating, they would both be A plus days. Guys, stuff we just don't see in the Tampa Bay area in West Central Florida. Uh, Dalton did some research. This 12 acre field had two or three 1800s houses on it. And it is a rare thing for us to get on a piece of property like this locally here. 1800 finds all over the place. I was really proud to be part of this day. Guys, enjoy this video. All right, good people. There is Mr. Troy kneeling down over a signal. There is Mr. Dalton kneeling over a signal. There is my machine right there. Look at this beautiful, would you say it says 12 acres? Mr. Dalton has this 12 acre field that apparently was some 1800s houses on it. I'm not even gonna tell you the guys the day had. Look what he's gonna drop in my hand right now. Look at this thing. Look at that Indian, guys. Try to get it in the sun. Yeah. There you go. 1889 for sure, flip that baby over. Put the back. Oh, that is sweet, guys. Air ground is nice dry sand here. They treat coins, especially Indians, very well. And uh, him and Troy have killed it before I got here, guys. So, uh, and Mr. Dalton's hit this before. We're gonna show you more coins later, guys. Stay tuned. Well, gang, on my fourth target, I get that old piece of copper that's got a uh, hole in it there, which is better than cancel all, which was my first three targets. Uh, the guys have an old weedy, three V-nickels, and uh, Troy is part of a uh, lock uh, mechanism and some other things, umbrella slide or parasol slide. Uh, yeah, this, this field's been very good to Dalton. Alrighty guys, there's my machine way out there in the distance. I just got this, and guys, as best as I can make this, this is some type of lead bottle cap or some type of cap. You can see the, uh, the striations there, the edges, that maybe you grab this with a pair of channel locks or pliers. But that is lead, guys. You can see where I nicked it there. And it's got an open end like this is a, a pipe end piece or some type of old cap that went over something, a lead pipe or something. But that is an old lead cap. All right. All right, guys, we don't get too many coin balls in Florida, but there it is, guys. Mr. Dalton's weedy is stuck to that dry sand. We're going to pop it off and see what year it is. The few weedies he's gotten out of here have been really old. Oh, that's black. So one nine one, maybe a zero or a four. Hey, either way, 110 or 114 years old. Boom, sir. Hey guys, Dalton just called another coin. 1913 Weedy. He's gonna bring it over for me. He just tracks. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, guys. That's farm fresh right there, as the American pickers would say. 1913. A little bit of environmental damage, but guys, another 100, actually, 110 year old coin exactly, sir. Boom. All right, I gotta get on the board here. All righty, guys, you can see where Troy's equipment is. He's walking towards Dalton and I now. He has called an Indian, giving us the Indian signal. What's the Indian signal? That was 18, 19, 20. The Indian signal. Oh, the Indian signal. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the, the chicken head signal. The chicken head signal. Get my head out of the way. Oh, Ooh. she's pretty. I know. All right, 1898. Oh, they're coming out here clear as can be. Boom, sir. Thank you very much. All right, that's going to go in with this. Yeah, there you go. I got a weedy and two V nickels. One's 1800. Yeah, that's his second 1800s coin of the day, guys. There's his parasol slide, his lock top, an old rivet. Some we'll show you. This we'll 12 show. acre field is going to be half acre home sites. I know. Oh, that's just a shame. It is. All right, let's hit it hard, guys. All right. All right, guys, Dalton is holding my next find. It came in on a 1112 uh, for a uh, V nickel. And it is a small button, maybe about the size of a penny, with a train in its coal car behind it. And, uh, you yeah, know, we think it's... It might have been a two-piece. Might have been a two-piece button at the time. But, guys, that's my best find of the day so far, an old train first, button. First one out of here. There you go. I could find out that this is a, a button from a train or railroad vest employee circa 1900 to 1920. All right, guys, Mr. Dalton is making his way back to the truck to uh, dump his pouch. And he calls a coin, he says it is a Wheatster. And I was just over in that area, guys. 
1919, the Mr. Dalton year. Alrighty, sir. Alrighty, guys, Mr. Dalton's still trying to make it back to the truck out there. I don't know if I have him in my phone. I can't see. There he is. He's got a copper ring, guys. We'll look at it when we get closer. All right, you guys, here is the segment that I'm really upset about. Uh, Troy went crazy out in the field, started gesticulating and, and screaming at us, and Dalton and I come rushing over, guys, and I thought I hit the button to start recording on my phone the entire walk towards Troy as I'm narrating it, how excited he is and how he's, he's not sure what he's got, but he says it's huge and it's green. And uh, I had the camera going as I put it down, and this big green coin was in the hole, and we were just trying to figure out what it was, and we were getting all excited. We thought, you know, chance by chance it might be a U.S. largey. It turns out to be just as good, guys, maybe even better. But I didn't have the camera on for the first, like, minute and a half to two minutes of this footage. So it picks right up with the coin in our hand. I just didn't record it on the ground. Here it is, guys, the best find of the day. And my phone stopped recording. It's Queen Victoria, British Penny, 1868, guys. A British Largy. What's on I'm the trying back? Trying to pull. Okay. We'll clean this, this up with the, the tooth. front looks like. Nice. Okay, there's the front. Yep, that's her. That's her. Yep. That's it. And that's the back. Oh, it's a. Uh, what do they call that? That's a. Uh, oh, man, I've watched enough Hoover Boys. You'd think I know what that's called. That's a. Uh, Hiberian. Hiberian. Yep. Oh my God, Troy. Thank you. Freaking Thank Hiberian. You. I'm just freaking going home. Oh my God. I Guys, can... Mr. Troy is uh, brushing his latest find. Look at that beautiful old lock with the slide plate on it that says WW and Company. That. You're just in Fuego, Troy. You've been in Fuego for a whole month. I know, man. It's been crazy. It's a beautiful lock. We couldn't stop you. Listen. The longer you leave that sit out in the air, mm -hmm. the more that'll flake off. Okay. Bam. Yeah, I want to see that skeleton keyhole, too. You know, you know that the skeleton keyhole. Yeah, you can see the square. Yeah. Oh, right yep. All right, beautiful, sir. Absolutely wow. beautiful. Okay, guys. On the left is Troy's lock, and here on the right is one I found on the internet. Exactly the same, folks. And this one works with the key. Guys, Troy is in Fuego. He's got a charm that is shaped like a skeleton key lock with a teeny little skeleton key hole. Your shovel away. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome, buddy. Cool, Good job. Man. Thank you. All right, guys, I've been out here with the guys an hour and a half, two hours. I don't know. There's Troy on fire. There's Mr. Dalton. There's this beautiful field we're in without a cloud in the sky. And Rob gets his best find of the day. That old suspender type clip or whatever that is. Very nice. Yeah, that's my nicest find of the day. I don't want to clean it too much because we don't want to break it. Rob's got a tendency to do things like that. <laughs> so, boom. Big chunk of iron for Troy. All right, guys. Right after that little suspender clip or whatever it is signal, I got a perfect 29 here. And I'm like, I just can't picture a clad quarter being out in this old field. And, guys, that copper thing came out. I uh, originally thought it might be an old thermostat cover from an old vehicle. I don't know, something off an old tractor. I don't know, it's uh, it's copper, brass, but and it's old, but whatever it did, it had rubber seal or rubber top. I have no idea, folks. Dalton's nickname, Mr. Slob to Troy. Troy, that is a cool piece. It is a cool piece. <laughs> oh my God, what is this? It looks Look like at part this. of a pocket watch, but it's got an anchor on it. It's got something that those those holes were sewn into. That is pure copper, guys. As soon as Rob gets it out of his glove. Yep, there's an anchor. It looks like a pocket watch, doesn't it? It's way too big for a pocket watch. You think? Yeah. But that is definitely pure copper, sir. Wow. It's old. Thank you. Troy's just in fuego. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm over here probably dug, digging my 48th can slaw. Dalton took his headphones off and said, guys, I've got a silver, a little silver tweak sound. But I don't want anybody filming it because I don't want to, I don't want to curse it. And guys, it was deep. When he started digging so deep, I was like, man, we haven't had any coins that deep except for Troy's Largy. And guys, they think it's old silver. Well, it is old silver. It is. I think it's a Barbie. Are you filming it? All right, hold on. Yep, it's a Barbie. All right, so. Oh, I just think it's a 63 Rosie. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what it is. It's good shape. 
It's a 1906 and it is beautiful. Let's see if he's got a mint. Oh, it's 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 an O. No, wait a minute. That's the that's the bow. Sorry. Is it, what is that? It is an O. It's it is an O. An o. Boom, sir. O's are yes, sir. The, the who cleans it gets to keep it. <laughs> there you go. All right. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. Nice big, nice good close up of that, sir. Oh, man. Okay, he's back to being the silver slot. Hang on, I gotta find the coin. Hold on, there it is. Look at that, guys. Beautiful coin. 19 O. Is it six or five? I think it's a six. It's O five. O five. O mint mark on the back. Oh. He called this one too, guys. Yeah. He didn't want me to film it to jinx it, but he called it, guys. Look at that. That is beautiful. And look how deep it was, guys. Where's your pinpointer? Yeah. Six, seven inches, guys. Seven inches. Boom. Hey. Congratulations. There we go. Yep. Yeah, everybody's having a good day but me. Oh, yeah, yeah. Come on. I got, I got, I got rocks. I got a rock. All right, good people. On a beautiful high 30s tones, which you don't get too many of. I got that. Let me, uh... There we go. I think that's part of a pocket watch. It was really deep, guys, past the depth of the pinpointer, seven, eight inches. Nice solid signal. This is just going to be my relic day, guys. I still don't have a coin. It's 120, 130 in the afternoon. I don't even have a coin. The guys are killing it. There's Troy. I don't even know where Dalton is. 12 acres is a big field, guys. Um, oh, he's way down there. Okay. But there we go, guys. Another relic for Rob. All right. All right, guys. Sorry for the tree noise. The uh, tree guy's just about finished with that tree behind the neighbor's house. Guys, I can do right up to that fence there. There's the property marker there. I'm just inside of it here at the corner of the field. Hey, I thought I'd come in uh, Bogart, see if anybody from this house years ago lost something. And guys, look at that beautiful bell. I still don't have a coin yet, but guys, that bell is beautiful. The little hook on the end is broken off. Let's see if the little tinkler inside is still there no because that was rusty but guys that is a beautiful bell i will see if that's got some writing on it oh, i'm going to call that my find of the day better than the suspenders all righty guys a beautiful old copper bell all right well good people we're all three still out here in this field uh it's after 2 p.m i just got my first coin on a 24 25 signal I screamed so much my first coin I got all excited the guys can run over and it was a flipping memorial a flipping memorial I've dug between 150 and 200 holes today and that was my first coin it's been a tough day guys a really tough day well, we're not showing Rob's fat face anymore look at that beautiful skeleton key lock you see this guy oh yes look at that there's mr. Dalton's fine right up until Boom, guys, look at that old Chevy emblem. I it's think, color to it. oh, great color. I think it's a grill emblem. Okay, and then Troy's coming over to piss me off even more. Oh, he's got another one of those like I got. You're right. Oh, that's beautiful too, Troy. Yeah, let's see what it's like. Oh, a President, uh, Presidente. Yeah, that's a, that's a, that's a name brand of uh, suspenders. Okay. D clip, D buckle. Yep. I think that's, that's a dust cover dust for cover, a lot. Yeah. S, yes, S, it is. Yes, S it is. C comp uh, company. A Chrysler trunk key. Mm -hmm. And you saw this already. And I have, uh, I have one memorial, sir. What? <laughs> I'm laughing because I'm about ready to cry. Oh my God. Alrighty, guys. Here is our board. I don't take up much space on this board. Just, uh, just my relics. My best find today was probably the old copper bell. You can see the tip broke off. A. Uh, probably a pocket watch gear I have no idea but it's brass the beautiful little clip with the four hole star design well I don't know but that's a that's my that's a nice find I got this towards the end there when I went back out with the guys when Troy found his third V nickel of the day we have no idea what that is oh and where's my oh and guys I knew this was some old piece and it is a salt shaker top there is one two three four holes that is an old salt tape. it's falling apart it's brass yeah, Troy just killed it today, guys. He got the same lock that Dalton did right at the end of the day. We've cleaned it up. Beautiful uh, skeleton key lock. Absolutely gorgeous. Troy, 1898 Indian. 19, 18 or 14 Weedy. And three V nickels, people. What? 1902. Oh, the last one came out a little roached. Yeah. 
What's that, 18... 1890 something. Yeah, 1890 something. And then 1897. Yeah, I can't see the last one. Um, Troy got a suspender, mine, Paracel top, some type of rivet. Well, that's a cool little thing. Yeah. This is probably a slide lock for another uh, dust lock, cover. dust cover lock, just like that one. Guys, look at that complete lock. That is just gorgeous. That's got to be 1800s. Chrysler trunk key. Um, we're going to do that last. <laughs> oh, you forgot something. And then, guys, Dalton Dalton just killed it today, too. Numerous relics, shotgun head stamps, one old lead bullet. Oh, I did forget one button. One, one find of mine. Oh, I'll, yeah, yeah I'll, I'll, I'll put button. that out at the end, too. And then, guys, Dalton got the, almost the same lock that Troy did. Um, lots of copper, lots of old glass. This cool thing, kind of shaped like a Boy Scout emblem. Oh, that's got a... Yeah, that's got a shank on the back I know. and then this thing with a bull in the front that we think is the end of a western belt Dalton 19 weedy 18 weedy 17 or 14 weedy 1889 Indian head is that another v-nickel yeah did you get this at the end yeah yep. so five v-nickels today yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god Charlie's gonna crap his pants um, <laughs> it's a 93 93 1896 the only silver we got guys Dalton's beautiful just dropped off somebody's pants from the mint 1905 <laughs> O mint mark barber dime guys uh, we don't get too many O mint marks around here um, New Orleans mint mark that is absolutely gorgeous and then um, he got the nice Chevy emblem he got several uh, buckles and snaps and guys he got a men's wedding copper wedding ring probably turn of the century or late 1800s his clip here has some design on it fancy on it um, here's the one find I forgot to take out my button with a train and a cold tender behind it we're gonna look that up little two-piece button and guys I think the find of the day besides Troy's little locket he put on top of it that's a cool little locket guys in 1860 it's 65 65 1867 1865 whatever guys Queen Victoria British large scent British largey we thought it was a Hibernia back I did some study and that's wrong it's a Britannia Brack the Hibernia has the harp this has the shield with the woman on the back I will show you a full picture the front's much better than the back because her hairstyle and the, and the coin is a bun But that is uh, Queen Victoria with the hair bun. They call these the bunny, the bunny scents. Okay. Because her hair is in a bun. I did some research while I was sitting on the tailgate. Guys, how that's in a field here in uh, the east side of the county, we do not know. Um, there were German settlers around here, so who knows if they had a British coin. But boom to you and boom to you for the silver. Yeah. Rob's not getting a boom today because rough day for me, guys. But thank you for the invite, Mr. Dalton. It's a phenomenal you, field. Dalton. And uh, guys, that's... That's a that's a compo layout I'm going to say to anybody's all day digging. There's their trash. There's some more trash. And I'm going to show you my pile of trash, guys. Well, gang, there's my hundreds of pieces of canned slaw and trash. There you go. Probably, what, three, four hundred holes dug today at least? Oh, easy. Just, just to have this board, guys. Just tons and tons and tons. There were more canned slaw today than I've ever seen. All righty, folks. Thanks for watching. Well, guys, Troy's out there somewhere near the area. He got his uh, Indian. And he just called another V-nickel. Slob.